Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of different. It's going to be a photo card haul, a binder reorganization, a downsizing video, binder maintenance, basically all of the above. It's also going to take me several days slash weeks to film this. So this is the first clip of this video which comprises of downsizing. So I'm not doing anything drastic, I promise, but I did want to slightly trim down my album section. When I was doing my anthology challenge for BTS a couple of videos back, I realized that I was growing pretty unhappy with the way one specific section in my binder is laid out, and that is the Love Yourself era. I also have really struggled with how to show my broadcast photos in my collection, among other things, and I've been thinking about it, and that video really pushed me into really thinking about if I wanted to just drop a few OT7 sets that I have and make things more uniform, and after thinking about it, it is the choice that I want to make. So I thought first I could just go through my binder, the Korean album section, one last time so we can all remember what it used to look like before it enters this new era. So I will just speed through it. We can look through it one last time and then we can jump right into the downsizing. Please enjoy the show. is the end of Korean albums for me. So like I said, I'm mostly just going to focus on Love Yourself era. I want it to be more like the Persona era where I have one completed set and then the remaining three is Bias Line. And I'm also going to fix up Map of the Soul 7 as well. So starting with her. Her? This is the set that I'm going to keep. This is a pretty easy decision. I really love this set. It's one of my favorite sets ever. In this binder maintenance, I'm also on a mission to replace this gin card. I hate this tape mark on this card so much. So that will be one of the things that we do in this binder maintenance section as well, but we are focused on the downsizing. So let's do downsizing and then on another day I can talk through kind of binder maintenance. So starting, this is the set that's going to go because it is the only other full her set I have. All of the other her cards are just Taegi Min, which is my original trio bias line. They are who I have the most Korean album photo cards for, and they are who I will fully collect for Love Yourself and also just Korean albums in general. I will be pulling out these ones. And then for the actual order, I'm not too concerned about keeping it. And since this is O, it would be L V E. I'm not really concerned about keeping it that way. I'd really just like to go on what I think looks the best. These match well, but the L ones don't really match well. Let's see what it looks like up here. I like the pizza a lot. I would like to put those in the middle. I've always been sad I don't have an OT7 set of these, but I honestly, I've got to a point where I am for sure, I'm not completing OT7 for Korean albums, so, I'm just going to make it the most of how I want it to look. So this is an option. I'm always also curious to see if people line up the member by row or if they do it by column. I've always done it by column, so I find it very difficult to switch now. I think it's my opinion, obviously. You can do whatever you want. But I really like how they look in row form when they're the same version as opposed to making the row all the same member. But like I said, it's just preference. 
So that is her for that. And then for tear, it pains me so much, but this is actually the set that I'm going to let go. I prefer these cards to these cards. However, these are my only two completed sets for tier. And between the two, I think these look much better in a set. These all can stand on their own. So I will be downsizing this set, even though aesthetic wise, I really like this set. And I will be very sad to lose these cards. But what's done must be done. So we will pull out these cards. I will not be keeping. And then I think it's already set up well on the page. So I can just pull these out, remove this sheet. So this will be tier and then we will go here. Yep, and this is perfect. So I think these colors look very nice together. Thank you tier for being very cohesive, especially with these sets. This is Y, O, U, and then we have R. So that is tier downsized. And then answer, it's not even a close competition. I do like this set, but I'm never getting rid of this one. So let me pull out these pages. Then it will be answer. I mean, I think that looks fine, right? I can just pull these out and put them in this way. I always like to have my favorite one in the middle if I can. So I do prefer the L set over all of these. There we go. So that is answer done with. Thankfully, I was able to actually sell these rather easily. I have a friend who is trying to complete the Love Yourself era for Old Press so she can make all of the backs connect. So I am helping her out with that while also downsizing this collection. So that's nice that I know that they're going to go to a very good and loving home. So there's that. And then like I said, everything else is good. Persona's fine. I'd love to do something about these, but I probably should just tape them in. And then Map the Soul 7. This is a really hard one to pick. And I ultimately decided to do version 2 because I cannot get rid of this Namjoon. Even though it physically pains me, to get rid of this JK card because this is one of my favorite album cards of him ever. I cannot get rid of this June card. So that is the one, that is the reason why I picked version two. So if you're paying attention, that means that I need to get Kubi for version two and then I will be caught up. I love that I'm downsizing yet somehow still making more work for myself because <laughs> I also need to get Yoongi's version three finally. So these two are the ones we are gonna let go of and we are going to get Kubi version two to replace them. I'm also sad to let this page go because I just really liked having these swans on the same page, but it's okay, we will get over it. So I was thinking since these are very similar vibes and obviously the version one outfits are kind of the odd ones out, quote unquote. I would do it like this. If you're keeping track, I need to get version three Yoongi for Mot 7, and I need Kubi version two for Mot 7. This is truly what I get for never completing a OT7 set. For, for Map of the Soul 7, I didn't realize I never did until I was trying to figure out which one to keep. I was like, wait a second, I don't have a single one to keep. Put everyone else in their right spot and I will keep my eyes peeled now. Obviously I'm only gonna look for first press when it comes to these. I don't actually know if Map the Soul 7 is in those wide printings but just in case they are I am super not interested at this point in my collection in mixing in new press so I just want the old press for Map the Soul 7 Kubi. So I will put two blank white fillers here as a reminder. And then I was thinking for these fillers for now, I could pull from my two group card pages that actually have these. So this is version one's group card, which is much lovelier than version two's. But for now, once I'll see how it looks, once I'll put it together, I might do 
its own kind of custom filler if I really don't like how this looks once I see the full set, but that will be that. So this Junie, <laughs> this Junie is the reason why we have version two as our OT7 set. So I'm excited to see it all together. And that is the extent of the downsizing that I'm doing. Like I said, nothing too crazy, 14 cards in total. So nothing crazy. Like I said, it's mostly for aesthetic purposes. I wish I could do OT7 for Korean album, but it's just pretty implausible now that we're in the new print era. So I'm not going to, and I just want to make this section of my binder as most aesthetically pleasing to me as possible, especially because this era is done. Chapter one is done. So I just really want to focus on getting it to look how I always wanted to look because I don't really have to worry now about new releases, at least in terms of chapter one. Anything that does happen from here on out will not be going in this binder. This is the chapter one binder for Korean albums for broadcast and for Japanese photo cards. So I thought it was the perfect time to, like I said, get everything together that I wanted to get together. There are plenty of maintenance things I also want to do to this section and I do need to finish proof. Yeah, that was basically the first segment of this video. Stay tuned. Like I said, there's a lot of fun broadcast cards. I can finally show you broadcast cards I've had for a while and just kind of keep out of my videos because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to try to find a better solution. And now that I'm doing this, I think I have. There is a photo card haul and more binder maintenance coming your way. And we're back. It's a couple weeks later and I have been doing a lot of work on this binder. So I'm excited to show you. This part of the video is going to be a photo card haul and binder update and just kind of a walkthrough of all the maintenance that I've been doing. I thought about recording myself doing the maintenance, but it's pretty repetitive and I was also working on all four binders at once and I wanted to keep this video mostly focused on this binder, so I just didn't end up recording it. If you feel gypped of seeing me cut paper, you can always watch my How I Make My BTS Fillers video where I go more in depth, same exact process. But anyway, I guess I'm just gonna go through each step of the way and if I notice something new, I will point it out and then I will also be putting away all of the cards that I acquired. I did not acquire everything. I'm still missing two cards, but that's just because I couldn't find them at a price I wanted to pay for it. And while the theme of this video is getting everything done, I didn't want to overpay, so I am still missing two cards, but that's okay. We have a lot of exciting stuff. I'm also finally ready to show you all of the broadcast cards that I've been hoarding since January of this year because I have finally made my decision of how I'm going to display them. So enough talking, let's get into it. Starting off, I did put both of these in a row first. So this is School Love Affair. The ticket cards, both the arms out and the arms in. I used to sandwich them in between this page, but I moved it because I'm going to be putting broadcast cards here instead and it felt way too busy to do School of Affair, this page, School of Affair, broadcast cards, and then the part one cards. So that is why these tickets start here. Obviously there were no changes to be made here, but I am going to put my broadcast cards in front of or in between eras. You'll see what I mean by the in-between part as we move on. But I need to, once again, give a credit to Mila or Yunbeck on YouTube. I will link her BTS binder flip through down below where I got this idea. And so, as you already know, if you've watched my channel before, I do have Jimin's I Need You broadcast card. And this is going to be a War of Hormone broadcast card. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, I'm going to complete Vmin for broadcast, even if it kills me. It's one of my priorities. It's always been one of my priorities and yeah, it's gonna happen someday. <laughs> so that will eventually be a War of Hormone broadcast card, but for now, I just wanted to put I Need You here and I Need You will bring us into then HYYH part one. I wanted to comment first on these. This is the paper I used. I used it throughout my entire collection. It's good paper. My only complaint is that when you buy it, 
it looks like this. So you think that when you open it up, it's gonna be double-sided, hollow, but it is not. They put one sheet here like this, so when you open it up, you see that there's not actually hollow on the back. So to achieve this look, also why this took so long, is you have to cut for the front and the back. And I don't always tape together, sometimes I do if it helps the shape, but that is also why I didn't want to do this whole process on camera because it was very frustrating at some points. It was somewhat relaxing to be in the same groove over and over, especially because I have a lot of already pre-cut fillers so it's not like I need to waste time remeasuring anything I usually have the size I already need figured out so it's just a matter of cutting it but still it was a lot of work that I was not expecting when I bought this paper that it was not double-sided so just be aware of that if you do buy this brand or if you are buying honestly any kind of hollow paper see if it's hollow on both sides or not because it will double your workload but anyway this is i need you moving into hyyh era so this is the same and this is the same but this is not the same anymore. So these broadcast cards are going to be Veeman's Run and Dope cards. As you can see, I didn't make a filler for one of them, and that is because I have had Tay's Run broadcast card for quite a while, actually. He is such a cutie. Welcome, this is his debut on this channel. Hello! Hello! Hi. But essentially what I will do is this will be Jimin's Dope card, Jimin's Run card, Tay's Run card, Tay's Dope card. So they kind of cross like that. You'll get to see what it really looks like once I have a full four pocket page. But if you're curious about how this is sleeved, so step one is 80 by 120 millimeters from Make Them Last. I believe that's Sleeve Kings or Ultra Pro, one of them. I will find it and link down below. Also has this size. They fit broadcast cards perfectly. I'm sorry I can't take it out because this is taped in currently, but it fits it flush if you can see that. And so then this larger sleeve is because I have to double sleeve everything. It's a sickness, I tell you, but it also helps me so I can tape in the card into the sleeve without having to ruin the page. So that's this size. This is 103 by 128 millimeters. These also fit the wings Polaroids. So if you are looking to sleeve your wings Polaroids, these fit pretty nicely. There's a little hang off, but it doesn't matter. I cannot speak to, however, if these cards fit into Ultra Pro or BCW sleeves. As you can see, I have the Cosmic brand A4 sleeves and this size fits in perfectly, as you can see. So there's not a lot of sliding around. It fits pretty nicely here. So these are the A4 sleeves. I will link them down below if I can find a seller who has them in stock. And I use these as the outer sleeve because it holds it nice without having to tape that sleeve also onto the physical binder page, which I try not to do if I can help it just because it ruins them a lot quicker. But this is my broadcast setup now, so it'll be easier, like I said, to see moving forward once I have some of the later broadcast cards actually finished. So you can see what my intention is. But this finishes up HRYH, so we move into wings. I am currently not collecting broadcast cards that aren't the standard broadcast card size. If they are PC size, they're really not on my priority list right now. So I don't have those here. If I eventually get the blood, sweat, and tears ones, I might add them with the wings lenticulars here, but that is a future thing to think about if I ever actually do get those blood, sweat, and tears broadcast cards. Anyway, I just wanted to show you these are how these sleeves fit in the wings Polaroids. Again, they're not a perfect flush fit for the PC, but it is a great fit for the actual sleeve. And you can finally keep the wings Polaroid PC sleeved if you want to. So I'm really happy that I found those sleeves. That is wings and we can keep going. So I couldn't not tape these in ahead of time. So these are already in here. It's because 
Obviously, this is a three pocket page, so it works differently than the four pocket. I can't use the same sleeve that I was using because it's too big. So these are inner sleeved with the 80 by 120 millimeter one, and then the outer sleeve, I think, is a three by five or a four by six. I cannot remember. Four by six is too big, so it must be a three by five sleeve, but that is spring day, which obviously looks into You Never Walk Alone. I have Yoongi's, Jimin's, and Tay's, and I really like how this looks. And then on the next page, I do have my Jimin Taiwan You Never Walk Alone postcard. I've said before that these don't fit in the regular Andy Jack four pocket size. You have to use the oversized ones, which I personally don't wanna do in this binder because every single one of these pages is flush. And I don't want to make one exception and have one page just sticking out. So I choose to keep it sideways like that, even though I wish I could put it upright because it would be fun to have my full bias line. But I just don't think I'm going to do that because I really, really like that all of these pages are flush. So that is You Never Walk Alone. Now we're gonna enter Love Yourself era where we got into some of my downsizing. Actually, take a step back for a second. I completely forgot. I had pulled out this card for an Instagram photo and I realized that it was new press. I don't know how I didn't notice it at the time, but it is new press. And so one of the other things that I wanted to do in this redo was get my hands on an old press Hobie You Never Walk Alone card, which I did. So if you are in the market, I guess, for a Hobie New Press You Never Walk Alone, let me know, message me on Instagram. But I didn't want this single New Press card. I think I've looked at them all now. I think this is the only one that got by me without me noticing it. So I'm very happy to replace this Hobie and just keep my collection. Old press, I have nothing against the new press cards and if you collect new press cards, I just didn't want one card out of my entire Korean album photo card collection to be new press, so I had to fix it. But anyway, all right, now we are done with You Never Walk Alone. Moving now into Love Yourself. So the start of an era, we are going to Put the broadcast cards away. I don't think you've seen any of these on my channel before, but if you do follow me on Instagram, you've seen them all. These are also some that I've had for a while. They are Veeman's DNA broadcast photo cards. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, so what I did basically is I taped the position of all of these because this is obviously covered by a sleeve. There's no tape on the actual card, so I'm stupid. I'm just not paying attention. <laughs> Here we go. Jimin's finger guns go here and then it keeps all of the cards pushed towards the middle which I really personally like. So then we have Tay's finger guns as well also taped in the proper orientation and you can see again just how nice and tight that these sleeves fit in these regular four pockets. But as you can see this is the full corner idea in action and I'm just absolutely obsessed with the way that this looks in front of the era. I think it is so pretty, especially because obviously we have Jimin wearing the same outfit here. It just looks so good. The colors look nice and I'm just so obsessed with this change. So that is the broadcast start. If you remember from my last clip, then you would have heard me complain about how I cannot stand that this has a dirty tape mark on it. So because I was able to find a good price for it, I did replace my Ginny. So he does not have a tape mark on the back anymore. And I can finally say that the set is perfect. <laughs> this was the one thing that was holding me back. If you have any interest in a damaged old press gin version O from her, do let me know. I have it. You can message me on Instagram, but otherwise, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I replaced that. So that is her. And then I did end up changing this in the middle. Once I kind of was able to see it from a different angle, I do think this is what makes the colors look the best. So this is what I went with. So that is Love Yourself Her done. Now we go into tier. So normally I would put the 
fake love broadcast here, but because I'm putting fake love and idol on the same thing, what I'm gonna do instead is put the broadcast between tear and answer. So here is tear. We saw that one complete already. Really like it. And then I'm just absolutely obsessed with the way these colors all work together. So like I said, it's going to be fake love and idol as kind of a bridge in between the two tier and then answer sections, which I just like so much better than what I was doing before. It still doesn't make me love the answer photo cards, but I definitely appreciate them more because I just think looking into that page looks so much cooler with these broadcast cards in front. So I'm just so happy. So there, like I said, we have fake love and then idol and we go into answer no changes to answer i did decide to do this in front of this full set as opposed to how i did the full set and then the three for two reasons i thought it looked nice kind of going full set to bias line and ending with a full set and also because these fillers are so much bigger i didn't like that you could see the red fillers through the tier cards. I think it's fine on the answer cards because it's more the color vibe, but I really hated that these looked like they were outlined by the red filler. So that was also a consideration of mine, but I'm just obsessed. I'm so much happier with the way this love yourself section is set up now. And I'm so happy that I made these few little changes because like I said, it just makes me like it so much better. But anyway, we are now into Persona. I do not have this broadcast section complete as you can see by the filler. I am still missing Tay's version one. I think I said this in my last haul video, but I don't know. I just have found an incredibly hard time tracking it down. Every time I see it for sale, it's already sold. I always miss it. So I'm hoping that I can come across it soon because if you aren't aware, Boy With Love broadcast photo cards are the most affordable ones. So I'd really like to get it before prices continue to increase as they naturally do as cards get older. So please come home day one TT, but this is Persona. I like it. They're obviously, they're not my favorite broadcast cards ever, but I do think they look nice with the start of this section. I will say that these postcards fit broadcast card sleeves. So those 80 by 120 millimeter ones I was showing you before also fit these. So I did these the exact same way I did my broadcast cards with the larger sleeve to hold it into place taped in by the inner sleeve. So this works out great for these Persona postcards. I don't think at this point I'll ever complete OT7 just because I really don't have an interest in buying multiple new albums of the new press versions anyway. So I think this is what we've ended up with. And then we have Ian Cook on the back. They were extra ones that I've had and just kept. I have no changes to BTS World, but Map of the Soul 7, I'm happy to say that I have completed this broadcast section and I'm just absolutely obsessed with the way this section looks now. I'm also happy that I got rid of my chaotic miscellaneous catch-all page and just decided to do a full OT7 version and then a bias line page because it just looks better in my opinion. And while I do miss those cards that I let go of, I'm overall way more happy with how this is set up. So I did the cool version on top and the cute version on the bottom. And obviously once again, kitty cornered. I just think it looks more fun to have them cornered like that than as opposed to their pair being next to each other. But as always, that is my opinion. <laughs> so I have completed happily this OT7 set now. I did get Kubi and I'm really excited. I think I am gonna keep the group cards here. They're still not my favorite group cards in the world, but I like how it looks enough. I don't think I have any real desire to change it. And I will miss having my black and white swans on the same page, but this is a stunning set. I really like these photo cards and I just think this looks so cool once you look into it. So that is Map of the Soul 7. And then if you remember, we were also missing version three for Yoongi. This is out of order. This is three, one, and four because I just think it looks better like that. 
So here is Yoongi's version three. So we are officially done with Map the Soul 7. Love that for me. I honestly didn't think I was ever gonna collect an OT7 set for this album. So I'm happy that I finally did and I can just cross that off the list because moving on, we go into B. So I don't have any new photo card updates for B, but I do have some filler updates. So this again is the starter page. And then I changed the layout on this page. I made this filler card for disease. And then this is the Polaroid. And I like that set up a lot better than what I was doing before. And so then I have these cards that come in the deluxe version. I also put this gem in here because I had to fix the back. And normally I would do the hollow, but I thought it was fun to have this gym in here. So I left that there. And then this is also filler card props to Mila again for this idea. I do definitely like the handwritten one that I had better before, but I need to get other copies of that album to pull from it again because I just kind of messed up the one that I had before. So these are maybe temporary. I might keep them, might not, but this is blue and gray. And I just love this section too. So I made that and then I also made this with the track list. This is one of the cards that I was not able to track down. This is Tay's Soundwave Lucky Draw. I don't think anyone's surprised. I said this a million times on this channel, but I just refused to pay a lot for this card. So I wasn't able to get it in the last few weeks to no one's shock. I mean, I could have bought it for $90, but <laughs> I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to keep my eye out for it. His sound wave hard, but other than that, looks good. And I'm happy with this section a lot. And then this, <laughs> I forgot I didn't actually fix the back of this because when I cut from this page, I realized it's just Jimin's shoulder. And I just thought it was so funny <laughs> that I kept it. I didn't fix it like I normally would. So we've got a disembodied gym and shoulder on this filler because why not? Anyway, this is the last card that I was not able to get. I really want to get the B Essential Group card because I have the B Deluxe Group card right here. So I want the Essential card right here. I don't know what it is about this card, but I can never find it for a good price or I already find it sold. It'll happen when it happens. And then the last update to B is if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I opened up the Lyric Notebook and discovered that I own this postcard. You got this postcard, the Lyric Book, and the mini poster, the undisclosed mini poster. If you pre-ordered the deluxe version during the essential buying period, I might put it in its own eventually, but I'm scarcely low on two pockets in the Cosmic brand size so i just had to put it on the back here on to butter permission to dance i don't think i have any updates here i think i messed around with the fillers a little bit oh this is new i guess i decided to put these live play cards and lucky draws back in here they really don't have a spot in my merch section the bright colors you know match the whole theme of this section and i like them i made these fillers from a ptd flyer and I'm, I think I'm happy with this. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna keep a mint album, even though I have all of my other venue cards and my merch binder, we're not gonna talk about it. I think these are gonna stay here because I like them here and they really fit the era. So this is Live Play from Las Vegas. This is Lucky Draw from Las Vegas. And then these three are Lucky Draw from Los Angeles. And then this all looks the same. So we move into Proof. So I had said before, I don't think it was in this video, but it was in my last minor update, that I didn't like starting with the film strips because they were very jarring to go from this to the film strips. So I decided to put the compact postcards in front. Once again, these are the same size as the Persona postcards. So they fit in the broadcast sleeve. And then I taped them in to the wings sleeve. I really like this. I think I'm gonna do this always from now on if they release merch this size, because it's just really easy and there's not a lot of sliding. So I have Young Line in age order, and then I have Macne Line in the front. Then I have this set that came in the standard, the OT7. And then we have Power Station. I am still missing Tay's. Someday he will come home to me. He is purchased, he's just not here. And then here, I do have all of these purchased, but they are not all here yet either. I do have two updates though, and that's Namki. Similar concepts go together, so that is that. Jimin's will go here, 
taste will go here and then that page will be done and this is what I did for the triptych these are currency sleeves I'll link them down below and then I cut my own paper and then I taped the currency sleeve to the paper so they don't slide around as much they obviously still have some room to slide but they are not going to be all on opposite ends and that's the best I can do I do still have the original packaging that I intend to keep but the original packaging is just a little too tall for these three pockets and I physically cannot handle when things stick out the top. I know some people don't have an issue with it and they do it all the time, but it bothers me to an unbelievable degree. So I just can't have those backgrounds in here, even though I'd like to, I still have them and I'll keep them safe, but they're not gonna get displayed. I will say definitely take your triptychs out, definitely take your butter pobs out if you're curious these have been repackaged in tape with magazine pvc free bags this is not i know it looks like it this is not the original packaging that they came in because they are starting to damage so i think between this and this having damage i think that is proof and evidence enough that things that come from weavers are not trustworthy and you in my opinion should resleeve everything just resleeve everything i do and i think it's better safe than sorry in the end because butter didn't even come out that long ago and if people are already seeing acid damage on their film strips receive them my friends resleeve them <laughs> It's not worth it. Here we can finally finish the standard OT7 set, which is so exciting. We've got Yoongi, Where He Belongs, and still not my favorite set ever, but I do kind of like how the page looks. I wish we could see their faces a little bit more, and I wish they weren't in black and white, but <laughs> it's what it is. So that is the standard version done. And then as you've seen, I've had compact done for a bit. And then this page is a whole mess. I honestly don't know if I like how it's coming together or not because of how much I dislike these Japanese pops. I obviously wanted to keep the door concept all together, but I don't really know if I like this or not. I have gotten Yoonmin's Hybe Insight cards. So there's that. That was the intention. I don't really know if I like it or not, to be honest. Maybe I should mess with the order a little bit. Do we like this better? Honestly, I don't know. It's just so jarring because these are so dark and obviously these are not but they're the same concept maybe the dark cards will look better on the bottom Ugh, whatever okay i think i'm just gonna leave it here for now and maybe i'll be able to decide easier once i actually get vmins it's not my favorite thing i gotta say maybe because i know we're getting yet another door concept from the collector's edition maybe i can pull that door concept and then fix this and do something different but for right now while i don't have those cards i'm just going to leave this here as intended and then potentially go back to the drawing board once the collector's edition releases so last photo card of this video is my little junie in the sewn pc so i really like this page i know it is definitely a little funny the cartoons versus the pobs but color wise i really like it and i'm obsessed with these korean pobs like a thousand out of ten i love them so love this page and then it leads into once again the standard postcards and i changed all of my white fillers to hollow fillers so there is hollow on this and then i made a placeholder here I still may put an extra standard postcard here next to him or I might just keep the hollow because I think it's fun. So anyway, I will do a sped up quick little flip through to end this video and you can see all together what all of the changes look like. But overall, I'm just so happy with this decision. I'm just over the moon and all these little changes. So I will do the flip through now. Yes.
the end of my Korean album binder. Obviously not quite done yet. There's still the collector's edition to add and also the little things from B that I'm missing, but otherwise I'm so happy with the changes that I made. They're small but mighty in my opinion and it just really made me fall in love with this binder even more than I already was. I'm just obsessed with it so definitely recommend if you have found yourself with wanting to finally do all the little things that you wanted to do I think it's a perfect time if your binder collection is similarly set up like mine where you are going to have a chapter one album binder I just think it's the perfect time to kind of get everything looking how you want it to look because unless you know they release the collector's edition deluxe <laughs> No. And several other versions of it. Gosh, I hope not. But as long as the collector's edition is coming out, it seems like that is the end of chapter one. Famous last words, I know, but it seems like it is the end of chapter one music releases. So in my opinion, it's just a great time if you have the inspiration to do so to get your chapter one album PCs looking how you've always wanted to look. So I encourage you to do so if it is something you've been meaning to do. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do let me know if I forget to link anything down below. Always here to help on a supplies front. And as always, please leave a like if you did enjoy, comment if you would like to, subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Get the hell out.